Welcome to another video for ultimatealgebra.com. In this video, we will be looking at solving equations in which the variable is on both sides of the equation. It's important that you've already watched our previous videos on equations. If you want over 200 well-explained videos, quizzes, and more examples, you can check out our full course at ultimatealgebra.com. Let's take a question to explain this. 4x plus 5 equals 9 plus 2x. Solve for x. In our previous videos, we have been having the x represented only once. Example, 4x plus 5 equals 9. But here, we have the x represented two times. In a case like this, we want to move the x values to one side of the equation and work on it. So here, you can choose to move the 4x or 2x. I'll move the 2x to the other side of the equation. To do that, since the 2x is adding, you will subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. The 2x will cancel out. Now, 4x minus 2x is 2x. So we have 2x plus 5 equals 9. We now have a familiar two-step equation, which you should be able to solve if you've watched our previous videos. But let's go over it. We want to get rid of all the numbers attached to the x so we can have the x alone on one side of the equation. To achieve this, we know that we must get rid of the times two and the plus five. Let's write our order of operation. Please, you don't need to be writing the order of operation in your solutions at school. We are using it for teaching purposes. We are using the reversal of the order of operations, so we are working from the bottom up. We will see that in this form, we must do the addition first and the multiplication second. To get rid of the plus five, we must perform the opposite operation on both sides of the equation. So we will subtract 5 from both sides. The 5 cancels out. 9 minus 5 is 4. We now have 2x equals 4. Next, we will get rid of the multiplication by 2. We do this by performing the operation opposite on both sides of the equation. So we will divide both sides by 2. The 2 will cancel out. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Therefore, x equals 2. Let's take another example. Negative 2y plus 1 equals 3y plus 16. Solve for y. Here again, we want to first move the y's to one side of the equation. You can choose to move the negative 2y or the 3y. I'll move the negative 2y to the other side of the equation. To do that, since we have negative 2y, I will add 2y to both sides of the equation. The 2y will cancel out. Now 3y plus 2y is 5y. So we have 1 equals 5y plus 16. We now have a familiar two-step equation, which you should be able to solve. But let's go over it. We want to get rid of all the numbers attached to the y. So we can have the y alone on one side of the equation. 
To achieve this, we know that we must get rid of the times five and the plus 16. Let's write our order of operation. We are using the reversal of the order of operation, so we are working from the bottom up. We will see that in this form, we must do the addition first and the multiplication second. To get rid of the plus 16, we must perform the opposite operation on both sides of the equations. So we will subtract 16 from both sides. The 16 will cancel out. 1 minus 16 is negative 15. We now have negative 15 equals 5y. Next, we will get rid of the multiplication by 5. We do this by performing the opposite operation on both sides of the equation. So we will divide both sides by 5. The 5 will cancel out. Negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. Therefore, y equals negative 3. Let's look at a more complex example. Some equations require initial operations to simplify them before you can even start to solve them. 2x minus 4 equals 5 parentheses x plus 1 parentheses minus 4x. Solve for x. When you have a question like this, your first step is to distribute the 5 so that you can have the x out of the parentheses. So the 5 will multiply the x to get 5x and the 5 will multiply the 1 to get 5. So now we have 2x minus 4 equals 5x plus 5 minus 4x. Next, we can work on the 5x minus 4x since they are like terms to get 1x. 1x is the same as simply x. We now have 2x minus 4 equals x plus 5. I will move the x to the other side of the equation by subtracting x from both sides. The x will cancel out. 2x minus x is x. So we now have x minus 4 equals 5. Now we have simply a one-step equation. Since the 4 is subtracting, we can remove it by adding 4 to both sides. The 4 will cancel out. 5 plus 4 is 9. Therefore, x equals 9. Please. Go over this and practice, practice, practice. You can check out more using the link in the description. We will end this video here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. See you in the next video.